Thank you for joining me, this is Fly My Phantom. Uh, I'm looking at Litchi, uh, mainly the panorama function. I don't use the DJI Flyout. I find that it's too stunted uh, in the options of what it can do. And I've always had preferred the Litchi app. Uh, for, for, for one reason, just one reason only, is the fact that it does also record. Um, how many times have you taken off, flown a perfect shot, then realised you haven't hit record on your uh, on the screen or you know on, on the the Mavic, whatever it is you're flying? Uh, it can be bloody annoying. But the only thing is, is uh, a while back, uh, recording started um, when you started the motors. Now in the new version, recording starts when you take off. Uh, and that's also when the log files start as well, if you're using programs like Dashware. Now, I preferred it from when the motor started, because then you got the recording of the quad lifting off its first initial movement. It's, it's just something I liked having. Um, I have asked them if there's an earlier APK I can get hold of, but they're very busy with the Mavic 3 Enterprise uh, app that they're, they're producing. So, not much of an answer from them at the moment, but hopefully they will do. Now, I'm talking about the panorama function. Uh, I had the, the chance to go out into the local area here and do a couple of panels the other week and uh, there's a problem with Android um, so this is what I'm, I want to say to you if you decide to get a quad and you want to use Litchi app my advice is to get an iOS device one of these here there's a reason for that because the, the Android device doesn't auto stitch and produce the panoramas for you to look at. Now that's not a fault with Litchi, uh, it's a fault with the SDK, it's a bug in the SDK from DJI. SDK is Software Development Kit, it's what uh, all the programmers will base any app uh, on, is the SDK. So it doesn't auto stitch, so what you've got to do is you've got to come back, offload the pictures to your PC and then create the panorama. Now I've been having a lot of issues, I've been trying various programs, Hugin, Ice etc and they don't produce uh, a panorama anywhere near as good as the one that's produced by the auto stitching function in the Litchi app and I'm going to show you that uh, in a moment. Uh, if I go into a uh, panel on the Android device, um, if you tap on the little globe it says panel uses preset parameters to shoot a 360 spherical panorama, start auto panel now. And I find it takes 22 pictures. But if you tap on that little icon there with the cog on it, you can see it's got all the settings here. And at the bottom it says start 28 photos. So I'm not sure, I'm not very good with panels, I must admit, but I've tried 22 and I've tried 28. And as I said, off the Android device, I can't build uh, a proper panel as you can see from uh, on the iOS device. So once you've done it, you can see there's, there's nothing more you can do with it. Uh, that's the only two options you've got. Now if we go over to the iOS device, if you tap on the globe, you get the same thing before, automatic panel, you'll do 22 pictures. If you tap on the folder there, you can see there's the panels I've done uh, in the panorama database, I'll go through those in a second. And if you just click the cog icon, again, you get the same options, but you can now obviously the same as before, uh, it will do 28 photos. So we're going to close that and we'll go back into uh, the Panorama database. Now these are pre-stitched and what you need to do is you can download them from the quad and it recommends if you want to download the high quality ones you must land the quad because it can cause uh, erratic behaviour. Not sure what that means but land the quad or wait till you get home uh, and then just do it once you're in your house. Now the reason for that is because uh, if you want to upload to Facebook which you can do and I'll show you in a second uh, you're going to need a Wi-Fi connection. Now, I don't have one out in the field unless a hotspot to my phone. I'm on EE, it's not the fastest, so I'd probably wait till I get home unless you're just dying to get a picture up on Facebook. So if we just tap on the first one here, I'm going to load the image. You can see the quality of low, medium and high. You can have flat or tiny planet, like that. And if you go to the top corner up here, a little arrow in the box, you can upload it to messages, mail, Facebook, etc, etc, all those kind of things. If you just tap on Facebook, it'll process it for Facebook, and then you get the option of only me, uh, public, friends, etc. I'd put that to only me because I was just testing. The other thing it doesn't have is upload to a group, so you need to upload it to your own feed and then share it from your feed to whichever group you want to have it in. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. I mean, you can upload to an album as well, if you've got an album, for instance. Um, 
So it goes straight to Facebook, which is great. So if you're out in the field and you don't mind offloading it to your iOS and then waiting while it processes, etc., it does take a few minutes, the high quality one, to stitch it. Uh, you can bang it straight onto Facebook, which you can't do on Android. So this is why I'm saying I do prefer the iOS version. Now there's just a small problem with uh, iOS devices, that is actually getting the files off them. Uh, you can't just plug it in and get the files as you can with an Android device. Obviously for some kind of security reasons. So I use this program, it's called iPhone Box. And it's a free program, you can download it from uh, off the web, just Google search iPhone Box, install it. When it runs, it'll just connect to your device. And then what you do is you click on apps, and you go down to Litchi, and then you just click on the folder here. And you'll see it come up with all the various parts of Litchi. What we need to do, if you go to Panoramas, and we'll just click on number one. What we'll take is the, um, this one here. Litchi Pano Cropped in large. There's two files, there's 1.93 and there's one that's 20 meg. Take the small one, you can't edit the 20 meg in paint, it's got some kind of limitation, don't know why. And what we'll do, we're going to copy to PC, so click this button here, and we're going to choose new folders, we're going to save it in there. Once it's saved, we just need to go to that new folder, and that's in here, in new content, and new folder. And you'll see it's there now. I'll show you that one in a second. We right click and choose open with paint, like this. It's a bit big, so I'll just click the minus sign down at the bottom on the right hand side. You can't see it because my face is in the way, bear with me. There we go. What you need to do, if you click on the select tool here, and then just put your cursor on the edge there, and then you're just going to do a rectangle like this, about the same size as the top bit there. Now this only works if you've got grey sky like this. If you haven't got grey sky, then uh, you're going to find yourself struggling with it. Just minimise it down a bit more so I can see it fully. So it's going to just grab a little bit like this. And then what we're going to do on your keyboard, press Ctrl and C to copy. And then choose paste. And you'll see the block comes up. Then you can just cover. A little bit of litchy up at the top there. Yeah, I know it doesn't look absolutely fantastic, but usually on panels, people are looking at what's here as opposed to what's in the sky. Once you're done, you can just save that, and then once it's saved, you'll end up with this picture, uh, which is uh, all right. I mean, yes, that, this was a bit of an attempt at blocking out. There's still some bits of artifacts, but as I said, you, you're not going to be looking at the sky. People do look at more what's of interest on the panel. This can be uploaded straight to Facebook, and you can tell your friends that you did this with your quad. Uh, using Litchi and uh, let them know just how good Litchi app is because I really do like it. I really, really do like it. So there you go. Uh, Android versus Apple for Litchi Panorama. Um, Apple wins hands down just for that particular function. But don't get me wrong. I mean, if you're not interested in panoramas, then the Android version of Litchi is just as good as the iOS version. There's no comparison between the two. They're both exactly the same, the way they work, etc. So yeah, um, that's my comparison uh, and the reasons why I say I'll take both tablets with me and if I think I'm going to do a panel, I'll just switch over to my Apple device and uh, I'll use that. Although I do like the Android device because the screen is bigger and I need it because my eyesight is getting terrible as I get older. But anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks very much for watching and as always, fly safely.